Hello to all my amazing viewers, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I went to Greenberg's Toy and Train Show in Edison, New Jersey, and found a pretty nice locomotive, a Cato SD70 Ace. This is my review. So this is what I ended up picking up. This is a Norfolk Southern SD70 Ace. The reason I got this one was first off the price of $95, and the second reason, I think it says here, is it's Norfolk Southern 1111 which is the Norfolk Southern barcode unit, and you'll see why in a sec if you don't already know. So the box itself doesn't really come with that much. It's pretty much the typical experience with unboxing, except there's no extra detail parts because it's already on the locomotive. This locomotive is the most detailed I have so far. So the packaging already is really nice because there's the foam that's in all Cato models, and then also there's this, which I'm not sure exactly what it does, but it's cool. So this is the model itself, which I think it's a really nice looking model. So I'm just real quick gonna show you some of my favorite things about this locomotive. The first thing that impressed me on this model was the amount of different little warning labels that they included. I mean, they're really all over on this locomotive as I guess they are on the real thing, but they did a really nice job with that. So you can see here why the unit is called the barcode unit so it says 1111 here and it really does look like a barcode the other thing that i find really funny is once you have this barcode here you then start to compare it to like these grills and it really starts to look like it's just covered in barcodes and i find that very funny between these lines here you know we got the numbers on the number board which i'll talk about in a second there's obviously the numbers and then down as you keep going further the grills also look a little bit like barcodes. This part of the Norfolk Southern logo also looks like a barcode. It just all starts looking like barcodes and I find that very funny. Something else that I found very nice about this model was the detail on the number boards, as I said earlier. I mean, just looking at the number boards, you can see the numbers pretty clearly. And I find that crazy when put in contrast with some of the other models I have, when it's not as detailed as this. This is like, Something I'm very surprised by. Also, the windshield wipers here look pretty nice. It, they do look pretty real, even though they're just molded into the windows. So this model definitely has a lot of different details that, you know, are pretty nice. Now let's take a look at the side of the locomotive. As I said previously, there are these very nice warning labels, which I think were a very nice touch. And they might be a bit excessive, but I think they look fine. Down here, the trucks... The trucks look pretty good, I would say, especially for, you know, such a small model. These look pretty realistic. Up here we have the horn. The horn looks very good and looks exactly how it looks on the actual locomotive. To be fair, there isn't much detail to put there. Then there's over here, relatively sure that this is in frame. It has the SD70 Ace. I'll have to zoom in on that. So this is very good. I mean, it is such a small detail. Now looking at the back, we have these two headlights and then the two 1111s on the side. So we have the barcodes there. Down here we have two EMU hoses and the couplers. Right here, I would assume these are vents or intakes. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but they look great. Once again, this paintwork on the, now on the back, it looks much much better than what I've seen usually on N-Scale models, at least in my experience. Then right here, there's this chain that, you know, prevents you walking off the back. For the testing part of this review, I decided to go to a friend's house for a quick running session. I found that this locomotive performs very well. The only thing I found strange was a slight humming noise that happens during low power running. Other than that, this locomotive performs very well, and I would say that it is worth the money. Well, there you have it, the Cato SD70 Ace. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Jose Rails, and I'll see you in the next one.